quick, YouTube is telling me that less than 10% of the people who are watching this video are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any of the great videos that are coming soon. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another season two episode of the Unrestricted Podcast. And sitting with me tonight, whoo, this is a treat, long time coming. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> been trying to get this episode, been trying to get this this uh, this voluptuous ass woman in the, in the building here <laughs> since uh, October-ish. We have the one, the only cam model extraordinaire, Paisley Hayes, in the building. Thank you so much for hey. coming. Excuse me, award nominated cam model, oh, Paisley yeah. Hayes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going to get into that. Thank you for coming. Um, Hell yeah, I'm glad uh, to be here. Um, thank you for wearing that outfit. Um, and I'm the kind of person <laughs> I'll, uh, I, I tell on myself. And I mean, well, you know, last time we set up a date. Mm -hmm. The, this whole area was without power because I don't work too far from here. And that Thursday, my coworkers was telling me the next day, I was like, oh, we was without power. And I'm like, damn, okay, it must have been something the whole grid because mm -hmm. that day it was windy as fuck too. Yeah, it's stuff. like this wind just came out of nowhere. That's used to weather for you. It changes yeah. every 20 seconds. <laughs> but, man, glad you're here. Yeah. Um, let's dive into it. So, your first time guest, hopefully this will be the first of many. And I'm, I'm going to also, also uh, issue you an invitation because I like how we... You know, job during you know when everything was off. So oh, yeah. feel free anytime you got something to promote, just hit me up. I love to have you back. Um, but yeah, for sure. But let's start from the beginning. Where where you're from and your background and all that. Okay, well I'm from here, Houston, Texas. Okay. Um, I pretty much lived here my whole life. I'm so ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love the city. Love the city, but it's just. You know, I don't feel like humans should just be in one spot for their whole entire lives. Yeah. So it's time to go explore something different. All right. What part of town are you from? Um, all over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we moved a hell of a lot. South side, north side, this side, Richmond, Rosenberg. Okay. Like, okay. You're from all over. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I grew up, I mean, I'm kind of the same. I never lived on the east side, but I've lived in Spring Branch. I mm -hmm. lived on this. I, I consider myself, I had to say I'm from a particular part of Houston. I would say Southwest. I spent most of my early years and my early adulthood in Southwest Houston, Texas. So the Galleria area, A-Leaf, you know, over there by Reliant, all that mm -hmm. area. I know like the back of my hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So mine's more like this area to Acres Home. Okay. So, so like from Northwest here, Northwest to, to, okay. to Acres at Home area. Gotcha. Watch mm -hmm. that nipple shit. Well, oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 it, was, it was not out, but oh, I just wanted to make you double check. Of it. Yeah, it, I felt a little like oh, open. Some behind the scenes footage for Patreon. <laughs> Goddamn shit. All right. Um, all right. So, what what got you specifically into uh, uh, being a cam girl, which I think is 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 awesome? Because how you was ahead of the game before all this. Uh, um, only Before the OnlyFans yeah. girls, yeah. So yeah, that's a big, cause that's a big difference, mm -hmm. um, in kind of jobs. Although I've been had OnlyFans since before the pandemic wave of yeah. them. Before it became the thing. Yeah. The name, yeah. Um, I was working. I used to cut open dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I was a manager at Whataburger for five years. Okay. Um, I was in just like the regular nine to five grind. Kind mm -hmm. of, okay. And then I discovered the law of attraction. Okay. And I was never gonna leave Whataburger unless they fired me because it's like I had three weeks paid vacation. You get the um, oh, yeah. paid time off. You get like all your um, 401k, like all that okay. stuff. If you're a so manager. So they really do take care of their employees. Oh yeah. Okay, I've so, heard stories on the news they want the like best, not just fast food, but well, the, the king of fast food for us mm -hmm. taking care of employees having real benefits and stuff and, and ways to move up, but then also just like among companies in general, they, they mm -hmm. take care of the people. That's good. I'm real big on that. Yeah, so they were good. So just say a manager makes about 50000 That's not bad. Mm -hmm. And that's not the store manager. That's just one of the oh. managers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say the store manager. Wow, okay. So, but the thing is, that's all good, right? Yeah, that's something yeah. people strive for. But then the quality of life is horrible. Oh. And it just takes over because they're 24 hours. And as a manager, you don't yeah. have a set schedule. Oh. So there would be times that I work maybe um, five 
5 p.m. to 3 a.m. have to be back at 9 a.m. I'd work uh, overnight this day and then the next day I'm coming in at 5 5 p.m. but I don't get off till 8 9 o'clock in the morning so it was Damn. just like it was just horrible and then 52 hours a week like standing on your, your feet, feet. Yeah. Which I was used to it at the time, but I was thinking, like, life is not meant to be like this. I agree. It's really not. And so, but I wasn't going to leave, and I wasn't really doing anything necessarily to get me fired, but I was just getting into, like, chakra healing, the law of attraction, and they made a way for the, that them to fire me. Damn. And so, <laughs> when I got fired, like, I was just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me, my... Normally my co-host Miss Blue is here and she she's known me for feels like over twenty years and we've actually worked together on a job and the job that we met, we worked together, they fired me. I was like, shit, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. And I wasn't worried about my bills or anything and I went home, slept and woke up and just doing my, yeah. my thing. Like, what's the next move? Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> no, so Fuck these jobs. I just shit. knew something <laughs> was gonna I knew something else was in store for me. Mm -hmm. And plus, I'm a Sagittarius, so we're full. Oh, y'all don't give a fuck anyway. Yeah, Shit. we don't give a fuck anyway. My co-host is Sagittarius, so yeah. Oh, I gotta meet her. <laughs> yeah, she, um, actually, she'll be back up here next week, and her birthday is on the 25th. Yes, yeah, exactly a month after mine. Oh, November. Yeah, she's Okay, November okay, Sag. You're okay. December Sag? Or? Yeah. Okay. I'm the 18th of December. Okay. Yeah, so, anyways, mm -hmm. I... I, I want to be in the sex work industry. Like okay. I've loved sex work since I was a kid. Like, Damn. Okay. So I just me. I was Shit. always <laughs> I was always fat fascinated with like the escorts and mm -hmm. like going on dates. I didn't think like sex, but I was thinking like going on dates and getting paid and getting like, was, glammed up and stuff mm -hmm. out of town. Yeah. Doing like yeah. fly me outs and stuff like that. So yeah. I was I was always intrigued by it and. When I just, I thought I, all that was offered online was porn. So I started to look into that, but then I discovered the world of cam, and it's so mm -hmm. different. And man, for the past three years, it's okay. It's so, been how, great. how is camming different from porn? Just so to, I, I know it, mm -hmm. but just for people out there that don't know. Okay, so porn is pretty much where you're doing sexual acts. Just straight fucking. Just, yeah. Just call it. Yeah. They're pretty much just yeah. fucking and making, you know, content and videos and stuff. Yeah. Whereas cam is you log on on a website like Chatterbait, Cam Soda, yeah. you know, blah, 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 all of them. And you sit there on the screen and the guys just go through the site and they see the screen of girls and they click and you go inside their room. So they come in my room and they get to hang out with me. Gotcha. Okay. Because, dang, yeah, you mentioned Cam Soda. Cam Soda's been around for a while. Mm hmm God, because I remember back in the MySpace days, Cam Soda was around. I'm old. I just turned 38, so <laughs> I'm telling my age, but <laughs> fuck it. But, yeah, I remember because uh, there, there was a couple of models I used to follow, and, I, yeah, I was on Cam Soda mm -hmm. as a as a patron, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I was in college, they got all my damn uh, financial aid money. Fuck it, but... Mm -hmm. is what it is yeah they're, okay they're pretty awesome yeah yeah so what made you stick with with cam modeling versus you know basically pornography um because i can literally get online and sell my personality mm. i take pride in doing that versus actually like having sex like i never okay i've tried to work with girls it never works out if there's any girls in Houston that ever want to work, I'm looking for girls because they're hard to find. Yeah. But I've never really worked with anyone. Gotcha. Okay. So it's all been solo. So either me squirting or me talking. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Hey, and you're, let's get to the award nominations. Because uh, when you, when you hit, when we were in talks about, you know, setting up the mm -hmm. date and everything and you got so many awards, I, I you know, I, I save messages and stuff, but I'll let you let you spill it out. Okay. Um, I want to do a little background first because a lot of people, like your average everyday people, don't know that just like how in mainstream movies, you know, you got the Oscars, you got the uh, the Saturn Awards, mm -hmm. you got for theater, they got the Tony Awards. I think that's for theater, of course. The music, musicians, you got like Grammys, Grammys and the got, VMAs, exactly. and BT Awards, and all that kinds of stuff. Exactly. And so, you know, in the world of you know, I guess we could just put under an umbrella adult entertainment. Mm -hmm. You got the AV, and that's just like straight fucking. That's yeah, that's the Oscars the porn. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's mm -hmm. the Oscars of porn, basically. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, in Cam, you have 
you know, other different categories. So tell mm -hmm. us about that. So X Biz, I would say, would be the biggest one. There's okay. one called Why Not. There's just the Cam Awards, and then um, it's like like mini vids they have their own version and do different things but the biggest one would be x biz awards okay so this year i was nominated congrats. in 2021 congrats so when is the the has it already happened or? yeah it's already passed it was okay. may so i i didn't win oh sorry to hear that damn but it's still honor to be nominated no, among, yeah. amongst it's, the tons and tons yeah. and tons yes, of cam sure. models out there and someone's watching or you got enough nominations however that work which we'll get mm -hmm. into in a second um you know to be just to get that that email or that notification like hey you've been nominated yeah yeah, yeah that was a really good feeling dope um what um what um what were you nominated under best bbw care model hot damn okay like yeah that. and i know people like to argue like especially like when they see me mm -hmm. i don't classify myself as anything yeah some people classify me as BBW. Some just say you just thick, you curvy, whatever. Like, but I know being of urban descent, mm -hmm. like it's. I wish more urban people would get on these things. To kind of set the people straight, that the powers that be in these things. Like yeah, yeah, because the thing is, like, I just don't feel like I could get nominated for just cam model of the year. Gotcha. I would have to go into some subcategory, and the one I felt best was best bbw gotcha so yeah but i feel like we need to get some more like hispanics and blacks and to this be more aware of like cam modeling yeah. and stuff no nah, i i get that and that's um that's a good point um it it, it gets to i mean just technology and the way things everything's changing so as we said like back in the myspace days it was just cam and i remember you know, before, and even before webcams are what they are, now you got webcams that are 1080p and high def and 4K. Oh, yeah, I got my 4K. He got his 4K. So you see me in that clear quality. And I remember <laughs> the, the cams back in the day was like barely a megapixel, if that. You know, it was all grainy and stuff. But, um,. Yeah, yeah they were I, still getting it back then. They, oh yeah, oh definitely, definitely. They was getting them coins. Yeah, and and yeah, I wouldn't categorize as BBW. I just say shit. The thickest fuck war goes to Paisley Hayes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get notified? Did they send you an email or a letter in the mail? Or? Okay, so what happens is nominations come around, mm -hmm. and then if you want to get nominated, or sometimes fans will just nominate you. Okay. You just ask your fans, hey, if you like me, go nominate me. If you get enough pre or oh, pre noms, okay. If you get enough um, pre nominations, then you're actually in. But you have to, I guess, get a certain amount. Gotcha. Because okay, I mean, it's cool. tons of girls doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, and it all got tons of mm -hmm. followings and, and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. That okay. That's interesting. Had no idea that's how they work on the back end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um. So did they have it? I know a lot of things have gone virtual. So is it virtual this year? Or they actually have like an award, like a weekend okay, award show kind so of So they do have that, but this year and 2020 was both virtual. So okay. the past two years has been virtual. I'm hoping next year that they go back to, you know, the convention and having the actual awards ceremony and everything. Because um, I think the AVNs, this was their first virtual year. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like it, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So I'm hoping everything goes back to normal in 2022, but... Mm. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God knows I'm ready. Okay, cool. So what's been one of the strangest requests that you've gotten? If you could say... <laughs> God knows it's like a, you know, client confidentiality, but... Um... <laughs> Well, I've literally gotten asked every single thing you can possibly ever imagine God on this damn. earth. But let's see what we could talk about on mm -hmm. YouTube. Okay, so I have this one guy. Mm -hmm. um, he likes to do like Skype shows. Okay. I love Skype shows because you get the money directly, like Cash App or yeah. Venmo, and then you know do. Your You're show. seeing them too. You're seeing the. the oh yeah, too. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Sometimes they don't want to show the, their face. I gotcha. personally don't care if they okay. show themselves or not. But he um, sent me, it was $356 to sit there and watch him go to the restroom, like pee in the toilet. And then he got a, like a wine glass and like scooped it out and then drank it. Wow. But he just like wanted me to watch him. So mind you, I'm just, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> like it's really easy because a lot of them, they want you to like, you know, play with yourself and yeah. do yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But no, not him. 
Wow. I get a lot of cucks too. Like I, I feel like I have a huge cuck fan base. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Cuck. Like cuckold? You know what that is? Nah. <clears throat> okay, so for people in the, like the non-sex industry, I mm -hmm. feel like they think of it as just a man that likes to watch his woman um, have sex with another man. Gotcha, okay. If you break it down a little bit more, a lot of the times it's a short dick white man that wants to watch his um, wife get fucked by a black man. Gotcha. Okay. But then when you go a little bit deeper into like my fans, which I love, um, they actually want to participate and join and so we'll role play, you know, because this is all either through like phone text or through like video. Gotcha. Um, so we'll just like role play and stuff, but I have a big cook fan base and I love I love all of them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. Wow. <laughs> See, I didn't even know that there was like names for that. Like it has an official mm. name and definition. Yeah. God damn, okay. So wow. uh, not all of them are into like SPH, which is like small penis humiliation, mm -hmm. but for the most part, that's what it is. Damn it, that has a name for it too. Yeah. Shit. Wow. It's a lot of like terminology that you just learn. <laughs> damn. Wow. Okay. Um Damn, I forgot my next question. Shit, I should wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> shit, what you want to get into? I, shit, this is unrestricted. We, we still got time. We only 12 minutes was dope. Damn near 20 minutes in. Shit. Okay. <laughs> shit, turn up. Uh, exactly. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I actually, too. What do people say to you in public? Because you have an amazing, voluptuous shape. Like... What I, I could imagine how many men try to holler at you in, in public. It probably gets annoying, huh? Okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. When I'm out in this, like, the regular world... Yeah, you're shopping or some grocery store. Um, I got this look on my face, this stiff look. Oh, you got the bitch face, because like, don't <laughs> yeah. fuck with you, okay. Gotcha. And so a lot of the times, like, I, I will got guys that don't care, and they'll try to, like, approach me, but I'm always, like running and walking super fast or, or I got my or I purposely put headphones in and just do my grocery shopping because sometimes grocery shopping is relaxing for me I'm mm -hmm. such like a mommy yeah no, I, yeah <laughs> so you know get into that mode and just knowing what you're gonna cook and shit so I don't really like to be bothered okay my bet some guys, like you said, like they're just like, I don't give a damn. She's got to hit yeah. me or tell me no several times. I'm gonna. And it really depends. <laughs> like, it depends too if oh, the wig is shot. on or off. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And this is what I'm gonna get to too, from looking at your your Instagram page, mm -hmm. and we we talked about this right before we went on. We started recording. You beat guys up, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's technical term for that. Please enlighten me if that's thing. But I'm, I'm, I'm just blunt. I wrestle. To, okay, you wrestle. So. How did you get into that, and how does that even work? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I wouldn't say I, I'm a switch. Okay, what like, does that mean? Like I could be dom or sub. Okay, gotcha. So okay. I don't I don't ever just want to be in one category because like I'm just too free and just depends on who I'm with. But like a lot of the a lot of guys like ball busting and well, um, real quick, what's ball busting? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I know it's like self explanatory but I got I got to literally got like ask. punching them okay. and the balls or Ooh, tying them up real tight, putting them in a cage, beating them up, wrestling them, squishing them, okay. suffocating them, tying them up to like this. He, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing it sometimes, so I always make sure, like, within, like, an hour I'll call and check on him. Mm -hmm. But this one guy, he just wants me to just to tie him up to where he can't get him loose and leave him in, like, a room. Damn. We don't have sex. Okay. I don't get naked. So you just come in, jeans and a shirt, well, tie him up. I'll, I'll wear just, a teddy because I yeah. like to be, like, a little cute. Okay. You know, so, like, you know, like a lingerie teddy or, like, yeah, a wrestling. Yeah. It's like a one-piece bathing suit with okay. your ass out. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. 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 And, and especially because a lot of times I record it. So it's, okay. it's better for content yeah, for, purposes. For, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I'll wrestle him, tie him up, and leave him. But I'm always, I'm just, I have a heart. Yeah. So I'll call him and be like, hey, did you get out? And if I told him, if I don't hear from him, I'm coming back up there and, like, helping him. Damn. But, wow. you know, because I just be scared. But they like the feeling. Damn. 
<laughs> and they're like, do they fight you back? Because my instinct, I mean, Grant, I don't hit one, but it's like, I know how to, like, okay, you grab my arm. My natural instinct is to go, you know, to pull it back. They, you know they what I mean? fight me back for my content purposes. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, like, one time I really banged my head and hit Ooh. it really hard. Damn. <laughs> and then t one time I left with bruises, but it wasn't, it was mostly because I was trying to really over exaggerate the movements and gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ever thought about a career in uh, wrestling? <laughs> no, because I've never been in a fight. Really? Like, never. Like, just people trying to fight me in school, never. Damn. So, okay. shit, I'm in my 30s. I ain't about to start now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> shit, okay. That's crazy. Wow. Yep. I could, wow. Damn. I, I got it. I'm going to have to edit this part off my girlfriend. Like I told y'all, fair. She loves, like, beating them. It's like, nope, you're not listening to that part. I'm going to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> but, wow, so um, well, what's some other like re requests um, that you get? Um, feet. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. I'm a, I'm a feet guy myself. Um, so. Feet, armpits, belly button. I get a lot of role plays. I really like role playing though, okay. so I guess they really see that I enjoy it, so yeah. it's fun. Um. I mean, I've sold shit videos. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Those are always fun. Like, okay, sometimes mm -hmm. you get, like, once you made the video, yeah. you're like, damn, did I really just do this? But if, when you're getting, like, two, three hundred dollars for three minutes of your time just making a video, I'm just like, psh. Barely Shit, going back go. to Whataburger. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I made this when I'm working the, the crazy 12-hour shift or whatever. <laughs> nah, I, I, I get that. Yeah, and it's a, it's a good feeling because it's like, they send you that money, and it's like, whoa, okay. And then I, I work, like, I put in, like, five, six-hour shifts. Yeah. So then you just keep stacking up on them tokens and tributes and all kinds of stuff. And wow. Get... Push your OnlyFans and yeah. all that stuff. Damn, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So uh, out of all the stuff that you do, what's probably your favorite? Okay, so I don't just, I'm not just in the sex industry. Yeah. Um, making custom videos or doing Skype shows in the sex world. Okay. And then I'm really big into like the spiritual world, and then I have my podcast, Doobies to Dollars. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really enjoy everything that I do, though. Okay. But if I can get to a stopping point, I would probably stop phone sex and actually s having to sit there live and broadcast and sell more videos. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And the videos, of course, you could charge. More mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. yeah. That's, where, that's where the money's at, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that makes perfect sense. Because cam and phone sex is like working a job still. Mm -hmm. You you have to sit there and put in the hours, and you have to just sit there and wait. Sometimes you'll be sitting there an hour and make $5. Sometimes you'll sit there an hour and make 400 So it mm. just it just varies. But I know gotcha. if I put in the five or six hours, I'm going to make my goals for the day. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think about that. Probably you wake up every day or some days and say, hey, I have a goal of X amount of money. Oh, well, this is an everyday thing for okay. me. I'm a workaholic. I don't take any days okay. off. Okay. And then especially with the podcast. Spoken like a true Sagittarius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I lost my full team with the podcast. Mm -hmm. So, like, juggling that and making sure I have, like, I have content every single day. Gotcha. Like, that gets yeah. out there. But the same thing, like, with my OnlyFans and stuff. I give them content. I'm pushing that shit out. Yeah. Because... I want to keep my fans happy on both ends, so... Oh, yeah. Con content is keen in, in mm -hmm. everything nowadays. Yeah. From podcasting to adult stuff to, you know, uh, whatever, you know, content is keen in... in it's, it's almost like you're... you're com I don't want to say competing for as, like, you know, you competing with another cam model or, mm -hmm. like, me competing with another podcast because I want everybody to see. But yeah. you're kind of competing, keeping the fans' interest. You know, you, you, am I making mm -hmm. sense with that? You know what I mean? Just yeah. there's so there's so many people out there. It's like, okay, well, if I'm not pushing out content, then they can get somewhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? So For it's sure. kind of, you know, it's, it's trying to be, well, me, myself, I try to be mindful of that. It's like, well, if I'm not 
doing anything, then you know, it's gonna go somewhere else and then, you know, that might have to push hard to get that person back or have a special episode or think of like, okay, well what's some footage I didn't release that I, yeah. I can't release, you know what I mean? Just You gotta you know, like yeah. be creative and Absolutely, shit. Absolutely, yeah. To try to like, you know, keep keep ahead of the game, yeah. you know? I strive to be the best excuse no, me. No, you good. At everything that I do. So Likewise. you know, like in this cam world, it's a lot of girls, they it's a lot of competition. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, and how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel that, do you look at everything as like what you do as like a competition or you try to be the best you that you can be and just kind of close out everybody else? I try to be the best me that I could be mm -hmm. personally um, because when I look and I'm mad I lost my fucking Instagram page. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, yes. when I like look at myself and then, like, I'll I'll notice people will be copying me. Mm. So then I know, like, I'm inspiring people. And I, yeah. I kind of like that in this, always trying to just be ahead of the game. So before this girl's doing this, you know, I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Or just come up with, like, crazier, um, interesting content that yeah. people want to see. Like, I had a foot in my mouth when I was sucking on some toes. Yeah. Like. You know, I went to the water park and got, you know, the squirt, the soda squirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. like I got that knock like I was squirting and got it all over my grape sweatpants. And then I was walking through Kroger's and. I was just about yeah. to say, yeah, because I saw the thing on your, on your, um, your, uh, your Instagram. But that was like, <laughs> God damn, I was like, I bet people walking through Kroger's like, what the fuck? They were damn. looking, they were looking, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's work. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> yeah, and real quick, cause I, I I I was gonna bring up the the Kroger thing. So what, like, how did that even like? What, did anyone actually say anything to you? Like, man, you need to change your pants or what? How, you are you okay or what? Mm -hmm. Just just crazy stay here. No, but I wasn't by myself. Okay. At that time, I had my other assistant. Okay. <laughs> that was another story. But yeah. anyways, I had her with me, so she's like recording me and. You know, I'm just doing what I do. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Damn. You take your passion passionately. Shit. Oh, yeah, because I, I really strive to, like, please. Because I feel like if you're going to... Even when I was working at Whataburger, like, oh, I was the best manager they had. I, I followed the book, like, yeah. you know, to a T. So with everything that I do, like, I just... I want to do a good job at it. Absolutely. No, that's, that's exactly what it's about. Because um, otherwise, you know, you're not going to have satisfied you know, fans, uh, followers, whatever you will call them. And, you know, like we said a second ago, you know, they're going to go somewhere else, you know, yeah. it's about making that money and keeping people, yeah. keeping the, the audience happy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I got to ask you too, because like you, um, so when I text um, 15 hours ago, now nah, actually want to hit me back up. God, I hate people sometimes. I'm sorry. But I get like right, I try to get right back, back. as promptly as I can to people. Yeah. I really do. So it hurts it's, me when they wait. But you know, I understand people got jobs and families yeah. and stuff. And it's like, mm. sorry, not now. I'm in the middle of a show. <laughs> but, um, oh God, what was I about to ask? Yeah, one of the things we were talking about off air, I mean, again, like, Right now, you're on the verge of having a damn wardrobe malfunction. And I'm here for it. If it happens, it happens. You know, hey. I bought this outfit because <laughs> I wanted to look cute. I was actually, you do look cute. My nipple's actually, like, down there. So, it, it's, it got a ways to go. It's not okay. going to pop All out. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> But, hey, I bet the same thing Janet Jackson said. But, no, she, her, her thing was, was taken off or whatever. Yeah. Um, like, what, how hard is it for you to find outfits? Like, because clothes got to fit you crazy. You got... Like, your dimensions are just Look crazy. It. Okay, so really, mm -hmm. if I be all the way honest, yeah. unless I'm going out dealing with, like, my podcast, mm -hmm. like, I don't go out. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I don't, I don't really do anything. I'm working. Like, yeah. you got to spend, well, luckily I have her, mm -hmm. but you got to spend, like, at least two or three hours in Telegram and doing S for S and doing all this stuff. Yeah. Or it's not going to work. Um... I agree with you you got to actually be on the phone lines and broadcast, be on cam, and I don't do the stuff simultaneously because you got to focus on like one thing at a time. Yeah. And then 
I'm, I'm sure you get this all the time. Like, people constantly hitting you up, like, with the podcast. Oh, hey, we're doing this event in Houston. Come here. Hey, we're doing this. Hey, we're doing that. It's yeah. like a constant thing. And I guess I didn't realize that taking taking on that role. Um, so just responding to people. And then the people that just hit me up in my everyday life. And by the time I'm just, by the time my day's over, I'm like, I just want to watch cartoons and <laughs> smoke and go to sleep. <laughs> I, I, no, I feel you 100% because like, I work a regular 9 to 5, which is very demanding. And i tell you what it is off air, but and then on top of being a photographer, doing this, mm -hmm. and then with the podcast, I do my own editing. And I'm glad now I'm filming enough episodes in advance where I'm not in a rush to get it yeah. out. Because like, just to give you like right now, like we're recording today. Today's what, the 12th? No, the 11th? Mm -hmm. Yeah. November 11-11. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today's 11-11. So, because I have, you know, episodes ahead of yours, this will probably drop sometime next month in December. So, I'm, I okay. won't be in a rush to get it out. But it's like, between this and my day job, I go home and some nights I don't even eat. I just crash. Just fall asleep. Yeah. Next thing it's I know exhausting. it's in the morning. And God do all of this. Like, some days I forget to post on social media. It's like... Damn, you know what I mean? And social yeah. media, especially Instagram now, is so fickle where you got to drop a post at the right time to get the maximum yeah. exposure. Oh, and, of yeah. course, got to be mindful of using the right hashtags mm -hmm. at the right time. Like, they, it's, catch it's that good crazy. Algorithm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a trip. Um, yeah. All right. And I got to ask you, and this is just the breast guy in me, how heavy is your are your breasts? Like... Cause you you got a picture on Instagram where you just like holding them and I'm like they're like yeah. two basketballs like yeah. or at least no, soccer they're... balls. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're they're heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, when I got hit by a garbage truck back when I was 25. Oh shit! Damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, damn. Yeah, so they weren't really bothering me before then. Uh -huh. I've always been an H cup for the most part. I was oh, a G. That was really my next question. Okay, like yeah. maybe like 20 and 24, I was a G cup, and okay. then like 25 and till now. H cup. Okay. Um, but they didn't start hurting until after the car wreck. So I got gotcha. like herniated disc and stuff. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, my dad yeah. had a my dad had an accident when he was younger. And for people who don't know, a herniated disc. And correct me if I'm wrong. Is when okay, you have your spinal cord. Mm -hmm. In between the spinal cord, you have like these discs. It's like yeah. a CD disc. If it's herniated, then the disc is kind of sticking out. Yeah. From the back, and it's hitting the nerves that yep. are connected uh -huh. to your spinal cord to paint a picture for people. Yes, I'm a medical nerd, so that's how I know the <laughs> shit. Yeah, and <laughs> even if it's like barely a little then centimeter it, off, yeah. it, it's... It, it throws counts. your whole yes. body out of whack, and each nerve connects to a different part of the body, and it just, you know, yeah, it could throw, God, Lee, damn, that sucks you in pain the damn. Yeah, so, you know, um, just gotta make it work. work. <laughs> and you make it work so, so well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And even like the, the the picture you sent me to use for um for um the flyers and stuff and to promote this episode when it drops, it's like you know I was looking. I was like, damn, she got a fat ass. But that's why I could tell you was short. And that picture, the way it was taken, it's kind of like, oh yeah. Okay, I was like, okay, so she's about I'm gonna guess your height. Five two with no shoes on. I'm five one. Damn, I was cool. Yeah, but okay. Every doctor I go, they always say I'm five one and a half. Okay. So okay, you're pretty so much right. Yeah, more or less <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, I was like, damn, that's that's every bit of fifty inch ass on her frame. God damn, <laughs> shit. Yeah, shit. That ass heavy too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was about to ask, like, you walk around with the But I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm very fortunate to be mm -hmm. blessed with both body parts, yeah. being that it's 2021, because now all the girls are, like, getting surgery, and it's a really bigger thing. They want to be bigger. Like, yeah. back when I was growing up and, like, watching my mom and stuff, everyone wanted to be skinny. You ain't lying. You yep. got to be that size, too, that size three. And now, you know, 10 plus. 14 like I think 14 is like the average size now yeah. so you know yeah now nah, now nah, women are paying tons of money which I go like, I like the fake asses I do too I, they, I know I'm wearing I know I'm wearing oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, nah, it's cool it's cool because I like when I was getting ready today and before I had I was like well damn like I really do need a haircut I need to throw on a hat and I was like well fuck my guest got a fat ass and it looks real so let me 
throw on the hat. Oh yeah, my know? eyes is definitely real. And you okay. can you can tell the difference because the fake ashes, they're so perfectly um, even though some of them, you know, their legs be skinny. Some of them just looks bad. But yeah. the acid soap, it just looks really nice. And when they twerk, they just flop out together. Yeah. So perfectly. And then I, I'm trying to make my ass just... I want it to flop, <laughs> flop out, you know? And I'm just like, no, but I think that's how you can kind of tell. Yeah. And then you look at the shapes there. You know, a real ass, even though, like, it's big as fuck. Yeah. You're going to see, like, it's not perfect. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have like little dimples in it and mm -hmm. this coloration. And like but I said, love their fake asses. They're so. Mm. I, I say the, the the bigger the better with me. This is Texas, <laughs> you know. Like, great. I was yeah. born and raised in Louisiana, but I've been in Texas. Oh, what part? For, um, you ever heard of Sawdale, St. Tammany Parish? Mm -mm. My family uh, from like Bowbridge. Bowbridge. Oh, that's right. Wrong I ten. Yeah. Well, okay. St. Tammany Parish. Okay, you know where New Orleans is on a map, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, you know north of New Orleans is a big lake, Lake Pontchartrain. Okay. Okay, right across on the other side of the lake, they call it the North Shore. That's St. Tammany Parish. Okay. So like Sodell, Covington, Abita Springs, Mandeville, Madisonville. Um, I'm from. I grew up most of my between Sodell and Covington. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, my sister, she's a chef. She she's coming down. I have a niece that stay out in Katy. Okay. Yeah, she's coming out for Thanksgiving, so it's about to be Ooh, lit. I'm about to eat good. Yeah, and I ain't inviting nobody. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Man. Whew, but um but yeah, um yeah, look, women are spending a ton of money. And mm. for the ones who get the illegal injections, hey, I'm not knocking them just be safe with that be shit because you can you know, you can you lose your life. I know personally some models I've worked with um they got the illegal injections and they're mm. fine you know and then some of course you know you read on the news and stuff that die from it because if you put yeah. you fix the flat in your butt that shit gets in the vein then you know mm. you're gonna have a cardiac arrest but um and even with some surgeries you could die you know yeah like, that's why like if i have friends that told me they wanted i always tell them no don't get it i'm scared like don't do it but same at the here. same time i want people to be happy and people yeah. People deserve to do what the fuck they want to do. You only get one it, life. Yeah, so yeah. If that's the chance that they're willing to take. I'm yeah. all for it. No, nah, yeah. But I, it's yeah. just, I would be too scared of surgery. If not, I would have had this <laughs> belly done. I would have had these boobs. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but my thing is, it's like, okay, you you know, like the, the illegal surgeries, yeah, it's like, okay, be careful with that. But I'm all for, like, um, the lady that's usually here with me, Blue, she just had, in August, she had a... Um, we did a podcast episode about it. She went into detail, even like the cost and what it's like without health insurance. She had a lipo 360 and a tummy tuck, you oh, know, so okay. doing things, you know, finding a good reputable surgeon, whether if it's in Houston or like Miami, LA or mm -hmm. whatever, like just save your money, you know, work overtime, get your little side hustle, do yeah. it the safe way. You know, because I mean, even getting a, a BBL, like BBLs are getting crazy now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be careful. This woman walking around with 20 inch waist and, and 58 inch asses. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, damn. I just hope they're being safe out there. Yeah, yeah, so do I. So, uh, um, so what do you, what do you see yourself in the future as far as like with, with cam modeling and? Um, well, I definitely want to win the awards in 2022. Fucking right. So yeah. we're going to manifest that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of battling some things. Mm -hmm. Just what what direction? Which one I want to push more? Gotcha. So I really want. I love the sex industry, but also yeah. love the podcasting. So I don't know. They're both like super fun to me. I I agree. Yeah, that's the same thing with me with with photography. I like both, but both it's a lot of work you know what i mean i'm mm -hmm. sure you like you your sex work is a lot of work and podcasting is a lot of work so it's like damn and i even took a step back from photography a little bit and i even turned out so it's like well i'm just focused on podcasting mm -hmm. right now and doing all these episodes i'll get back when i feel like it yeah. but <laughs> um but i totally get that but i want to push my workshop Okay. Um, yeah. I I teach girls like how to get into camming, be an online oh, sugar that's baby. Oh, Okay. Um, do phone sex, sell their panties. I I just sold <laughs> two pairs of thongs today. Oh so, shit! Yeah, okay. Like, Congrats. Um, okay. Yeah, they don't sales don't come that often yeah. with panties. Yeah. I will say that, but I'll teach you where to find these guys, how to get them. 
That's you know? what's up. Wow. Yeah. Damn, the thoughts at my job be talking about that. I need to find a sugar daddy. I or like how to actually any. make money on OnlyFans. Yeah. Because now that is a whole different story. There's too many people out here faking and fronting. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. Just be real. They don't. I think people just think you could just start an OnlyFans and boom, it pops off. And Thank don't you. understand the work that it takes and the grind because they're. It's not like Facebook. Like Facebook, you can search all kinds of people. People pop up. Yeah. Recommendations. You got it's, groups and stuff. Yeah, yeah it's not like that. So if you don't know who the girl is, you can't find it. So how do you think you're going to get fans? Yeah. So join my workshop. That's what's up. That's <laughs> good. That's that's good to know. And, and I, I kid you not, I have a kind of... Well, I hear the women in my job in my department, they talk about, I need to find me a sugar daddy. I don't know where to start. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, first off, we still kind of technically in a recession, number one. Okay, I don't, I mean, I guess they are some guys. Oh, no, they're, they're out there. there. Okay, they're out there? Okay, yeah, okay. they're out there. I know, my cheap ass. <laughs> yeah. For my girlfriend, I'm cheap, but. Uh, you can find it online or you can find it in person. Sugar okay. Daddy. After I jumped this episode, I can't, I can't, I almost looking forward to going to work. Like, hey, um, I interviewed a guest that y'all might want to hit up. Yeah, like, tell them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. not nah, seriously. They always talking about that instead of fucking working. But anyway, I digress from that. But no, that's that's dope. Okay, I ain't, wow, that's that's creative to do a workshop and tell people, yeah. show people the way. Yeah. And right now I've been doing the them super cheap, so they okay. get on it for I get my followers. Back. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking Black Friday. So, so yeah. So what happened with your with your Instagram account? If we could talk about that for a minute, I, my heart goes out to because I had an issue with Facebook back in June. We'll get to that but what, what happened with your instagram well i had a few pages that i kept losing when i got to like three four thousand mm -hmm. and then i built one up to like twelve thousand that one got deleted then i finally built one up to twenty one thousand damn okay and i was like happy of course but you know they're always getting shadow banned and you get too many shadow bands or too many reports or too many of this like but it's sad we'll just speak on size okay that, it's size and I feel like you can have these very petite thinner girls and like barely sh covered up anything and I could be fully covered in a bathing suit and it's a problem so you know what it's funny you mention that long story short with my incident I took some pictures of, of a model that I work with she I think her her cup size like she's a triple H and we was at the photography mm -hmm. studio I use and we took like some artistic nudes and mm -hmm. she took some pictures of her holding her breast. You can't see the areola, can't see the nipple, and know that mm -hmm. she's just holding them. And my old Facebook page, I had my regular personal account, a photography page, and a podcast page. Okay. And you know on Facebook on your business pages you can auto post, right? So I uploaded the pictures to auto post. And I guess their algorithm detected it and like it kicked me out like I flipped the one because I was also auto posting on Twitter and it kicked me out sent me an email I was like hey you've been shut down you can dispute it mm. if you click this button I clicked the button dispute they never got back to me so I had to start a whole new Facebook well, that's yeah. the long story should we made a podcast episode about that it's, it's annoying fine. but then I have a friend of mine she sent me a thing oh where is it uh here it is. She sent me. I forget my phone. I need a new phone. Um, damn. She sent me. Uh, um, what is that? What's the one? What's that big clothing line that's real popular? Fashion, Fashion Nova. Nova. Yeah. Fashion Nova. And I get it. Fashion Nova is. Um, Fashion Nova, but damn, now I can't find it. Oh, here you go. My phone. So I didn't know we was going to talk about this, so I would have had it already uh -huh. prepped up. But look at that. Now, if that was oh. you, that shit would be shut down. Yeah. You know, that was, I mean, a woman of your stature, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. and a, a buddy of mine said that to me, like, she just sent it to me without saying anything. She I'm looks like, good, though. yeah, she looks good, but I'm thinking to myself, like, why, why are you saying She's like, oh, had that been one of the type of models that I work with, because mm. I could pride myself working with curvy, full figure women. Okay, good. It's like, you know, your page would be shut down or be, you know, or the, the, the at the very least, the post mm. would have been shut down. I'm like, yeah. damn, you're right. But, and I get Fashion Nova is a huge, you know, multi-million dollar thing, but still, rules should be the rules. You know, if you're yeah. gonna, if a full-figure woman's going to walk, if you're going to 
take down video and pages of full figure women mm. walking around in a floss thong, basically, then you should yeah. do the same thing to you know the the petite chicks in Fashion Nova or you know and my then page sex whoever. workers too. too they don't yeah. like. So that's why I love the third party linking services like Hubster, Linktree. Yeah, Linktree. Stuff like that. I use Linktree to mm. route to my um, website and everything. And that's, you know, and it goes back to it's nothing like having your own. Because, like, what I decided was like, well, I pay for a yearly for a website anyway. So all my more risky content, fuck, just put up on a website and tell people, hey, yeah. if you want to see this full picture, mm -hmm. you know, and book me as a photographer, go on the site. You know, <laughs> fuck it. Just oh, yeah. wow. Now I'm sorry, hit because like, I ain't gonna lie, that that crushed me when my like all three of my Facebook pages got taken away. It's like damn, I've had those pages since like it's 2008, hard. and then on my personal page, just trying to find people because not everybody on Facebook go by their real name, you know? Yeah. So it's like damn, I'm like I really people like used to go by their real yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Now, now like... people think of catchy stuff, and it's like damn. I wish I had this person's number or whatever. So yeah. I'm still trying to find people, but damn. Um, now I, I I definitely want to see you uh, uh, win some awards. And now that I know how it works, just you know, next year whenever they open up nominations, just let me know. I wouldn't mind you know um, posting it on my social media to get the word out oh, and, yeah. what, and whatnot. No, for sure. Um, if you might give us Steve, what are some of your next like you talk about pumping out content? What are some of your um your uh, your next um content yeah, ideas? Uh -huh. Um, well, I'm doing this. I'm going back to this thing where I like to call it erotic tales with P. Okay. So I like to sit there in some lingerie and just tell like a super nasty story. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Oh, I also do like giantess stuff. So I got like ah. the tales of um, Little Pete and Paisley. <laughs> so, like, Paisley I'll, beat Little Pete's I, ass. I, I'll, I'll talk about like a little little miniature man because uh -huh. that's a big thing. Giantess stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I've heard about. That, um, yeah. I also like to do, of course, Paisley Hayes four twenty smoke sessions. Okay. Um, and I say lighters up, pants down. Mm. That's a big thing. <laughs> I like to do. Um. Stuff like that. Okay. I mean, people, the squirting, all that, all that's cool, but I like to be more creative. Creative, yeah. Because so, certain things on the internet. Oh, and then okay. celebrating my three, third year Cameraversary. Oh, there we go. So this month, A, well, previous month when y'all see it. <laughs> but yeah, so this month, November, just celebrating that. And I'm trying, usually I throw like a little party online so yeah i'm gonna think of something okay to do for that's the fans. Dope. i like to do that with raffles and okay so like give away something yeah like that. yeah and i commend you on being creative because some stuff even me is just like a kind of sore and on that end of things on a dog just being a um just being like a consumer i guess like with yeah that word. it's like okay you see you know certain stuff is like okay everybody's doing that you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's like okay well what who, who's doing something else? You know, you got the story time. It's like, okay, those story time. Okay, I'll sit in Indian style and listen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's dope, and I commend you on that. They that's, like it because it, it gives them something different. I notice when I do, like, like for likes with other girls, mm -hmm. and so we'll give each other, like, free trials on our OnlyFans, and yeah. I'll go, and I'm just like, it's just sex, 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 sex. Mm -hmm. Showing your pussy. All you're doing is doing this. You got to be creative because that's what, like, keeps the guys, like, interested. Yeah. I told him I really want them to fuck with me. Gotcha. Like, fuck with me and my personality, and then... Yeah. Yeah, you got a terrific else, personality. Everything else will fall in line. <laughs> and before we go, I'm going to do a thing that I keep forgetting to do on this show called Speed Round. I'm going to just say or ask three things. I don't even know what they are yet. Oh, and you just... <laughs> that's what everybody says. All right. And, just, <laughs> and, and what just, do I do? And just tell me the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, favorite sex position? 69. Okay, alright. Um, shit, what's the next one? Huh? Uh, favorite sport? If you have any. Dance. Okay. Cross country. Okay, alright. <laughs> um, shit, what's another one? Um, favorite adult entertainer? Male and female. Ooh, okay. I really like Jade Kush. Okay. I think her pussy is so pretty. Um, as far as porn. 
Um, as far as content creator, Danny Banks. Love Danny Banks. Okay. She's really dope. Um, Octobooty. Deja, Damn, that's that's an interesting name. I never Deja Morgan. One. Oh my gosh, if you don't know who she is, go check her out. Okay. She's super lit. Um, yeah. So them. Okay. Dope. Dope. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> I just I need to be so organic on the <laughs> show and just random. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Oh man, if we wrap this up, let people know where they can find you at. Okay, so follow me on Twitter at Team Haze Bud. Um, Instagram, Paisley Hayes XOXO, and Paisley's Playhouse. OnlyFans, Paisley Hayes, on my free one if you want to see me for free, or Paisley H. Um, what else do I got? Night Flirt, if you want to call me, Paisley Hayes. Chatterbait, Paisley Hayes. Okay. That, that's my biggest cam um, platform. I have about 25,000 followers on Damn. there. Damn, what was that one again? Chatterbait. Chatterbait, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, they've been around a long time okay. too. Okay, yeah, and I'll put all the links in the description Hell yeah. when I uh, drop this episode out. So Check me out. Yeah, check her out. Support people. Don't forget also to support the podcast. Don't forget to go to www.theunrestrictedpodcast.com. Listen to the previous episodes. Let us know how we're doing. Go on, up on Apple Podcasts uh, for you Apple um people out there <laughs> and give us a five star review and thumbs up it helps with the analytics and the data for more people to find us on the show and buy some merch i might be doing a merch Ooh, discount merch. or something yes yeah, it's, it's on the website okay yeah, yeah. On the website. yeah for sure got got thermals got uh coffee mugs stickers fanny packs saw with the unrestricted wolf logo okay so, hell yeah y'all yeah. gonna check that yeah. out get that merch yes Support. yes ma'am she said it herself <laughs> paisley thank you i appreciate it awesome outfit glad we can yeah, uh we can make you. it happen <laughs> first breast men out there yes Yay. yes Everybody, thank you for watching and uh, and listening wherever you are. And remember to take care of yourselves and each other. Thank you. All right. Peace out. Uh, <laughs>